new Storm Team. We are Ms. Bodke's first graders from Longfellow Elementary, and we want to know... Hey, Mom! Uh, that was so much fun. Two days ago, I, I got invited to do a virtual visit with Longfellow Elementary, first graders and uh, Miss Botke's class. Boy, they were so cool. Look at that. And just wanted to get them on TV. And thank you for the invite, by the way. All right. Got to get you caught up as far as uh, weather or fire weather stuff. Red flag warning. This will expire tonight. There may be another one tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. That's up to the Glasgow Weather Service office. There is a uh, fire weather watch for North Dakota that starts tomorrow morning, goes through uh, tomorrow night. That actually might get upgraded depending on conditions, so hopefully it doesn't. Wind advisory for all the counties you see right here. And even outside this area, it's still going to be windy, just not windy uh, enough to get into the advisory criteria. At least that's the way it looks right now. So looking at a beautiful afternoon across the Magic City, 67 degrees. And look at that. The wind is calm. Humidity is 11%. I just checked the Phoenix humidity. It was like 14%. So it's drier here than in Phoenix, Arizona. Bismarck, 69. North winds at 12. Humidity, 14%. Unfortunately, a very, very, very dry air mass. Uh, 70 degrees in Williston, northwest wind, only 5 miles an hour. And in Dickinson, it's 72. West wind at 3 miles an hour. And some dark clouds there. A little moisture in those clouds. Unfortunately, it, they're in the clouds. It's not getting down to the ground. Here are a few more temps. So uh, widespread 60s and 70s, of course, and you see there uh, in western North Dakota, and the wind has been just really cooperating today. A little breezier southeast of Bismarck, like uh, Steele and Lenton, and Ashley a little bit breezy, but other than that, uh, it looks very, very nice. So here are the uh, deep soil temperatures, and look at that. Almost all the temperatures are in the 50s right now for four inches down. Uh, Botno still a little bit colder, but of course you would expect that. Uh, now, I want to show you something. I took a snapshot of last week's drought monitor. This is what it looks like. And Ideally, we would like to see a lot less of this red. Unfortunately, it went the other way. Look at that. That is, that is just a bad, bad sight. That's the extreme drought that has spread. Uh, it spread uh, east, it spread west, it spread south. That is just not what we wanted to see. It's kind of like a dry air sandwich because there's moisture on both sides with dry air in the middle, and we need some moisture. We may get a little out of this over the next uh, few hours or, or tonight and, and to tomorrow. So even at 11 o'clock tonight, possibility of a little bit of rain getting towards the uh, Mondak border there and then by as we work our way into the nighttime hours and I actually think the way things are going that there's enough going on in the atmosphere some of this may actually reach the ground it's not like we're gonna get soaked but we'll take what we can get and and I also think there could be a little bit of wet snow uh, in southwestern part of the state unfortunately it just kind of you know fizzles out and we're going to have a lot of wind those yellow wind streams 20 30 mile an hour for the sustained winds and the wind gusts are going to be even stronger than that when I showed this map last night there wasn't any purple on that so as we got new data in it's showing the potential for even stronger winds so that's not good next 72 hours for Dickinson notice how the temperatures kind of bounce around a little bit but at least look at that 40 percent chance of rain in Dickinson and for Williston roughly 20 percent chance so tonight a lot of 30s but they're above freezing and then tomorrow back into the mid 50s it's going to be cooler it's also going to be windier here's a look at the Bismarck seven day and look at that every single day next week we have at least a chance of rain so you have to think lauren and nicholas we should get something you yeah, would something, think something's got to pan out there that's right tom thanks very much next